spot price has fallen from where it climbed to on Sunday and Monday. Spot price is down, but the demand is through the roof. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I want to talk about how we saw the spot price of silver fall down to $25 yesterday. It's currently up to about $26 right now. And even though spot price is down, the demand is still high. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today, we have to talk about the spot price of silver. As I'm currently recording the video, the spot price is $26.68. Yesterday, we saw the spot price fall down to $25.88 and then quickly climb a little bit back up to $26.11. And earlier this morning when I checked the spot price of silver, it was in the 26 25 range somewhere around there so it's kind of fluctuating in the 25 26 dollar range right now and who knows maybe by the time you watch the video or by the time i edit it by the time i post it who knows what the spot price is going to be by then but as i'm recording the video it's in the 26 dollar range and i thought that this was pretty interesting because of everything that we saw take place since over the weekend sunday Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and now today, which is Friday. We have been on a little bit of a roller coaster in terms of the spot price of silver, and I thought it was pretty interesting, with everything going on right now, for spot price to fall down by several dollars. I mean, we saw silver hit $30 for a split second earlier this week. I believe it was Monday morning or Monday afternoon. So for it to fall from the $30 mark down to $25 and change all in the course of a couple of days, a very small window of time when there's a whole lot of hype and excitement going on around silver right now. I thought that that was pretty peculiar. And even though spot price fell back down, the demand is still high. There are still people converting their dollars into silver with different online precious metal dealing websites for crazy high premiums right now. I mean, in yesterday's video, I used Atmex as an example, and I'll use them as another example today. If you go to Atmex and look for Silver Eagles, good luck finding one for under $40. They're all listed as low as $39 or as low as $40, which means you know that's for people who are ordering 1,500 Silver Eagles at once. That's not something I'm doing. That's not something you're doing. Those are pretty crazy high premiums for the spot price only being $26 right now. And unfortunately, I know a lot of people like to say that it's unreasonable or, or absurd that they cranked up the premium so high. It's not just Atmex, by the way. It's a lot of the online precious metal dealing websites. I'm just using them as an example because it's the site I'm most familiar with. But a lot of people think that it's completely absurd. But tr truth be told, I, I'm surprised that some people are surprised. We've seen this happen before. And the way supply and demand works, unfortunately, there are tons and tons and tons of people out there who are happily paying these crazy high premiums, which are it's doing nothing but driving the price up for all of us. So it's not really the websites doing it. It's the people who are paying the websites because they're the ones who are saying, yeah, all these crazy high premiums, those are perfectly fine. But Silver Eagles, they're a little bit notorious over the last 10 going on 11 months now for being pretty wild in terms of the premiums because they are after all the most popular the most sought after the most recognizable the most trusted the most desired pure silver one troy ounce coin that exists but there are other coins there are other rounds there is 90 percent as well which i want to talk about but i also have to give a quick shout out to veritas files for sending me a card i just stopped at the p.o box today and i did stop at the p.o box right before Christmas and also a day or two after Christmas and this was not there. Unfortunately, I couldn't get there anytime in January, so I don't know if it was lost in the mail. I don't know exactly what happened, but thank you very much for sending me this Christmas card. 
Sorry it didn't arrive by Christmas, but I did in fact receive it. I don't want you thinking that I got a card and I didn't give you a thank you. Thank you very much. I just received it today. And I know there's some people out there who are thinking, Hey, DYDSS, we don't care that you got a card. We want to know about the silver. <laughs> well, lucky for you, <laughs> funny enough, he sent me a little bit of silver. Thank you very much for Rita's Files for sending this my way. Uh, with It says, Merry Christmas. Keep up the good work, Veritas Files. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Much respect. Merry Christmas and happy February to you as well. <laughs> Just wanted to throw that in there. Thank you very much. But also, if we move on over away from the Silver Eagles and we talk about the Silver Maple Leafs really quick. I know the Silver Eagles are going for as low as $39, $40, but the Silver Maples, they're... Uh, not too much cheaper if you think about it. I mean, I'm seeing about $36 as low as, which means people like me, people like you, people like him, people like her, probably going to be paying closer to $37, $38. But, okay, it is a government-minted coin, one of the most recognizable, one of the most popular government-minted pure silver one troy ounce coins that exist, close second following the Silver Eagle. But what about the generic rounds? What if we just go for some secondary market, basic, generic silver rounds? Nothing special, never, nothing government minted, nothing government backed, nothing with face value, nothing like that. Just a circular piece of silver. Well, those are going for over $33 as well. Now, $33, or should I say as low as, which actually means you're probably gonna be paying $34, $35, couple dollars cheaper than the Silver Eagle. Pretty fair, I guess, or more fair, a little bit more reasonable than $15 premiums slapped onto a one troy ounce pure silver coin. But forget about the pure silver. Forget about the one troy ounce denominations. Let's see what 90% silver is going for. We can go and see just random 90% coins. You don't know what you're going to get. Maybe you'll get two half dollars. Maybe you'll get four quarters. Maybe you'll get 10 dimes if you're just ordering $1 face value. Boom, $30, 30 times face. If any idea what that means. For those of you who do not know how to calculate the best price to pay for 90% silver, I have a video on my backup channel with a very simple mathematical equation on how to calculate how much each individual silver quarter or silver dime or silver half dollar should be worth in fiat dollar bills according to whatever spot price is at the time of you doing the mathematical equation. But that is wild. That is the highest I've ever seen for 90% silver. I have not seen 30 times face before. I remember the good old days when you could pick up $1 face value for like 12 or 13 bucks. Because it is, after all, not pure silver. It is, after all, pretty scratched up, tarnished, circulated, kind of worn down. It might actually weigh a little bit less than it's supposed to. It is, after all, not equivalent to a troy ounce. If you were to work with four quarters, you would actually need about six. Silver dimes, there's 10 in $1 face value, but you would need about 14 to equate to a troy ounce. And as for half dollars, it doesn't take two, it would take about three. And 90% has pretty much always been the easiest way to get your hands on some silver. I mean, look what Veritas Files sent me. It's right here. You can look at that as 1 14th of a troy ounce, just about. Thanks again, by the way. But I wanted to talk about this today because premiums, I'm sure it's no surprise it's all anybody has been talking about these last couple of days, but premiums are through the roof right now, which is why I, I posted yesterday's video saying now might be the opportunity to focus on the preps rather than putting 100% of your attention on trying to get silver right now. And in the video before yesterday's video, I talked about 
maybe using gold as a temporary alternative. Instead of focusing on the silver, maybe focus on some gold. Premiums are a little bit higher up on gold as well, but not nearly as higher up as they are on silver, from a percentage perspective at least. And as I said in the video before that video, support your local coin shop. Can't say it enough. Please, support your local coin shop. They're a small business. They need our support 24-7, but now more than ever. They've always needed our support, but they really need our support right now. So please support your local coin shop. And fun fact, you would be supporting them by supporting yourself financially, by converting your fiat, your currency, to money. You're helping them out. You're helping yourself out. It's a win-win for everybody. Plus, they typically have lower premiums and better deals than a lot of online sellers do. But I wanted to talk about this today because we can see spot price has fallen from where it climbed to on Sunday and Monday. Spot price is down, but the demand is through the roof. A lot of these online precious metal dealing websites, people get frustrated, myself included by the way, I can't stand seeing these price tags. But the reason they can do this is because people are paying. That's the way supply and demand works. That's just the way it is. As long as people are willing to pay, they are able to charge. If nobody was buying, if nobody was giving them their dollar bills, they would have absolutely no choice but to lower their prices. That's just the way it works. It, it, it's a two-way street. But oftentimes, people are controlled by the fear of missing out. People are feeling like they're backed into a corner, like there's no other way to get their hands on silver or they think that silver eagles are the only piece of silver that they should be getting. Maybe they don't really know a whole lot about other types of coins from other countries or the difference between government minted coins and silver rounds and bars, or maybe they're not too familiar with how 90% works. Whatever the case may be, people right now are making emotional decisions. They're not making logical decisions. They're making emotional decisions. And a lot of these online precious metal dealing websites it doesn't really make a bit of a difference if you or I refuse to pay those crazy high premiums because they have so much traffic going to their sites. They basically are saying, all right, if you're not going to buy something, get out of the way so other people can buy something. Because I could very easily email one of these websites and say, hey, I have other websites that charge less than you do. And they probably wouldn't send me this back, but they would want to say, okay, and we have other customers that pay more than you do. It doesn't matter. There are so many people flocking. There are so many people gravitating towards these online bullion dealers. Maybe they don't have a coin shop in their area, which is also what I said in a video from a couple days ago. By the way, this is, I guess you can say part six, part one, 1 1.5. 2, 3, 4, and 5 will all be linked in the description in case you want to maybe watch them in order and catch up a little bit. But I guess you can say this is part 6. But in one of those earlier videos, I talked about if you don't have a coin shop in your area, go on Google and look up antique shops, pawn shops, thrift shops. A lot of them have coins. Or you can always go to Craigslist as well. I'm sure there's somebody in your area that's selling their silver coins or their gold coins. People do this on social media as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. People will want to make cash transactions. You meet up in person. But I wanted to talk about this today because just by looking at these crazy high premiums, and again, it's not just Atmex. I don't mean to single them out. I also went to JM Bullion, Monument Metals, and a variety of other websites as well. And the premiums are pretty much the same. Almost any site that you go to and it's because there are so many people converting their dollars into silver online right now. And if that's what they wanna do, that's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna talk them out of it. I'm not gonna call for a boycott or anything like that. All I'm saying is that if people stopped converting their dollars into the silver, there's nothing wrong with converting the dollars into silver, but converting dollars into silver with those crazy wild premiums attached, if people stopped doing that, the premiums would come down. People just don't understand that. 
people are making emotional decisions right now. And I know online shopping is a whole lot more convenient than physically driving or walking or, or, or whatever you have to do, ride a bike, a scooter, hoverboard, I don't care. <laughs> Physically going to a physical coin shop, I understand a lot of us are working, a lot of us get out of work and by the time you can make it to a coin shop, the coin shop is closed. Trust me, I get it. I understand the struggle. I'm dealing with that myself. But there's always a way. And trust me, look up antique shops, thrift shops, pawn shops. If you have a decoder lens. This was another question that was asked in the comment section recently. How do you trust a pawn shop or even a coin shop, a reputable coin shop that you've never visited before? How do you trust or how do you know that they're selling something that's real, selling something that's legit? Number one, you could have them test it in front of you. But two, this is something that I recommend. If you have or if you desire to get sunshine rounds or sunshine bars, my favorite silver bar. This right here, you see the mint mark SI right there on the back? That 10 ounce has the same thing. Or the one ounce silver rounds, which I have plenty of, and I have a half ounce sunshine round somewhere over here. Let me just find it. Here it is. Half ounce silver sunshine round. Flip it on over. Half troy ounce, and again, has the mint mark SI right there in the middle. If you have a decoder lens, bring it with you. If you're picking up sunshine rounds or sunshine bars from a seller that maybe you're not familiar with, bring the decoder lens. All you have to do is scan over the back of it with the decoder lens on top, and it'll say the word valid right there in the middle of that circle right there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Let me do it with the five ounce, it's a little bit bigger. Kind of move it around a little bit. See that right there, right in the dead center of the circle? Valid proof of authenticity. It's a security feature. Get yourself one of these little decoder lenses. They're like 15 bucks, well worth it. So if you don't know if you could necessarily trust a seller, number one, here, here, here's rule number one actually. If you don't know if you can trust a seller, you probably shouldn't be buying from them. But if you think you can trust them, but maybe you're a, a little bit skeptical or you just wanna play it safe, just use the decoder lens. It costs 15 bucks, it lasts forever, and as long as it's something that has the mint mark SI on the back, boom, you're good to go. You know how many sunshine rounds and sunshine bars there are out there? Very easy to use, very simple, fits in your pocket. It's a no-brainer. I'm not that smart. If I can figure out how to use it, I guarantee you can figure out how to use it. So it's just, a, just an option for you. If anybody's looking for sunshine rounds or sunshine bars, or if you have a decoder lens and you haven't really been thinking about it, it's another option for you right there. Somebody asked me what to do if you're going to a new coin shop that you're not familiar with or a pawn shop or something that you don't know for sure, you don't, you don't know them personally, you don't know if you can trust them, whatever the case may be, right there. It has a security feature for a reason, use it. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know everything going on in the world of silver with all the hype and excitement, with all the craziness, with premiums going up, have you been able to visit your local coin shop this week? Have you been there over the last four, five, six days? And if so, do they have better prices than some of the online precious metal dealing websites? Can you get silver eagles or maples or generic rounds or 90% for a lower fiat dollar bill price tag than what some of these websites are charging? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to premiums or the demand for the Precious Metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms, 
I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,600, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on everything going on in the world of silver right now. Are you taking a little bit of a break from silver since the premiums are so astronomically high? And maybe you're focusing a little bit more on the gold or maybe a little bit more on the preps. Are you focusing and building up in other areas? Maybe areas that you've noticed you're lacking in or maybe that's where some of your weaknesses are. It's important to strengthen your weaknesses just as important as it is to maintain your strengths. Head on down to the comments and let me know if you've been to the coin shop over the last couple of days, have you been able to pick up any silver coins, rounds, or bars from the local coin shop, maybe an antique shop or a pawn shop or a thrift shop? Have you found better deals at physical storefronts as opposed to digital storefronts? Or are you still using the digital storefronts and you're just dealing with the premiums just because it's convenient or maybe you have no other way in your area? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to the premiums, the demand. Have you noticed the same thing that I've noticed? That people are making incredibly emotional decisions right now as opposed to logical decisions? Keep your head on a swivel, people. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.